Howdy! Today what we're going to do is look at how we're going to install Eclipse to run on our home computer so that we can do our own Java development from home. So to start off with we go to Internet Explorer and we'll start off by searching in Google. We'll search for Eclipse. Now Eclipse is a free download so we can just go straight to their site. Eclipse downloads and we would like classic. Now we need to know what type of system we're running. If we're running a Windows 32-bit or 64-bit, I'm running 64, so I'll click on that one. And I can then just click on the download button. I'm going to save this one to my downloads folder, downloads, and I'll save it in there. Now that our download's complete, let's just go find where we saved it and see if we need to do anything with it. So in the downloads and it's just there, it's a zipped folder so I'm going to extract it to that same folder. Okay now it's extracted, we'll have a look in there in Eclipse and there is a readme folder so let's have a quick look there. And there is some information that we're looking for here. For a Java development program to run, we actually need some Java information to work with. So we're running on Windows on this machine here, and I need to get, for my Java to run properly, I need Oracle Update 17 of Java 6, and I can either get that one or I can get a more recent copy. So I'm just going to copy that text and I'm going to go to Google and we're going to search for it. Okay, let's just have a look here at Java SE Downloads. Now if we scroll down a little bit. Okay, so we've got the Java Development Kits and the Java Runtime Environment. Now our file in the readme said we need the JRE. So I'm just going to download the latest JRE just from there. Hit download. We need to accept the license agreement and then figure out which version we need to download. I'm just going to get the x64 down the bottom there. Okay and from here we can save that one and we'll also save that one to the downloads folder. Okay, that download just finished, so again, we'll just go and have a look. Um, so I've got the downloads folder here, and we've got the JRE. Double click that one to install it and hit run. This will just install to the normal destination. If you want to change the folder, just tick on that box there, and we click install. So this has already been installed on this computer, but just to go through the process, I'm going to hit yes to reinstall. And we have a successful installation, so we'll close that one. Now we can go back to our Eclipse. Now Eclipse is a little bit strange in that it doesn't run an installer. You just need to copy this folder into your programs folder. So just right click on that one, say copy, go to your C drive, find your program files and paste it into there. Once that's finished copying, if you click into that folder, you can see that here we've got the application, Eclipse, and we can run it from there. Now if we want to make things a little bit easier for ourselves, we can right click, create shortcut. Now if I minimize that screen, I can put my shortcut onto the desktop and I can double click that to run. Every time that you run the program, it will ask you uh, if you do want to run it, and we do, so click Run. Now when you're running this at home, if you have a, you've got a version that is not Indigo, that's fine. Um, all your files will work as per usual. 
Now what we need to do is we need to specify where our work is going to be. So in your C drive, wherever your data is stored, so mine is saved in my data, I've created a folder there called Computer Science and in there I'm going to create a folder called Eclipse. So in my Eclipse folder, it's creating a new workspace. Here we get the welcome screen and we only get this the first time we run it. We've got options to look at the overview or tutorials, but what we're going to do is we're just going to go to the workbench. From here this is our working screen. Our package explorer is where we'll see all our Java projects and files. In the middle screen is where we'll code. In the outline it will show all the different components of that particular piece of code that we're working on and down the bottom is where we have any error messages that we need. So we're going to start by creating a project. So go File, New, Java Project. And this first one we're going to call Test 1. Remember with your naming, don't put any spaces in there. So give it a name and hit Finish. And you'll see that that project folder has appeared in your Package Explorer. Make sure that that folder is selected and in there we're going to create a new Java class. We're going to call this one Hello World. Again, no spaces and finish. In terms of the actual code, don't stress at this point. I will teach you how to code as the year progresses. But just to test that my installation has worked, I'm going to create a small applet that's just going to display some text on the screen. So at the top I import some of the Java information that will allow my applet to run. And inside my applet I'm going to use a method called paint and paint is what allows me to draw things on the screen. In there I'm just putting a piece of code that will allow me to draw some text on the screen. This text will say hello world and it will be positioned on the screen 20 across and 20 down from the top left corner. Okay, so when I hit run, that will allow my program to run and the applet should appear on the screen. When you do press run, it will force you to save your work. This is a bit of an added bonus. So my applet has popped up, it says hello world. So if you've successfully been able to do this, it means that you've successfully installed Eclipse. Good work.